In this video, I'm going to be telling you about four scholarships that are currently open for application. And in this, I have included a scholarship that is uh, fully funded. By that, I mean they cover your airfare, accommodation, and your tuition fees. And if you stay right till the end, I will be giving you a few pointers on how to apply for scholarships. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming by again. You know I appreciate you. You're part of family now. So my name is Pili Swa. I'm from South Africa. I'm a PhD student currently studying in Ireland. This channel is about uh, finding scholarship opportunities to study abroad. And so if this is something that you could be interested in, or if you are looking for opportunities yourself to study abroad, then stick around and this could be the channel for you. So don't forget to hit that like button and to subscribe. So today I bring you four scholarships that you could apply for right now. So first up, we have the Emily Botme scholarships, which are for studying in France. These scholarships are open to non-EU international students and obviously the location is for study in France. They are open for undergraduates right up to master's level. The scholarship is awarded on, on basis of academic excellence but they do take your um, extracurricular activities into consideration. So if you want to know more about that, the official um, I will put on the description box the link for the official scholarship website where you can find more information on the eligibility and requirements for this type of scholarship. In terms of um, financial benefits, the, the Emily Botme Fellowship range from 3,600 to 12,000 euro for, uh, for undergrad study, but the scholarships have different categories to them which and these are covered by different are covered differently so I will um, put that information the Emily bought me master's program is of a value of 12,200 euro and it covers your tuition um, for that amount for two years during your master study. Headline, if you're interested in studying in France and you're, you're going to be doing your undergraduate degree, apply be before the 22nd of February 2023 for the period of 2023-2024. But if you are a, um, a master's candidate, then you need to apply before the 30th of November 2022. All, all this information is available on the scholarship website, which I will link in the description box, as I've said before. Next up, we have the EPFL uh, fellowships, and these are for studying in Switzerland. These are open to students that haven't been in university before and they ta also take into consideration your academic, academic performance and your extracurricular activity. These are, they are open to uh, Swiss students and international, uh, all international students, graduate studies or master's studies. The value of the scholarship, because I know we are all interested in that, I mean, if you're going to be applying for a, a scholarship, you need to know how much you're going to be getting from it so that you can plan accordingly. So the EPFL scholarship give you 10,000 um, Swiss francs toward your uh, undergraduate education for three years of your undergraduate study. And then if you are doing a master's degree, they will give you um, the same amount but for four semesters which is an equivalent of two years for your master's study. 
Important to note that for the EPFL fellowships, the application is strictly online and it is open from mid-November 2022 to the 15th of December 2023. So if you know anyone that could benefit from um, this video, make sure that you share it with them so that they are able to apply quickly and uh, on time. So if you like this video, uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and um, you hit the like button. Also, if you have any question regarding the scholarships that I've uh, mentioned here today in terms of information, uh, Put them in the comment section below and I will do my best to get back to you and to answer. Now I want to turn over to you. Which scholarship do you think you'll be applying for? And are there any scholarships in particular that you are looking for? For example, are you looking for scholarships based on geographical locations such as scholarships in Europe or scholarships in America? So let me know if that's something you're interested in and I could do the research and make a video about it. Or if you are looking for um, scholarships, particularly for master's studies or scholarships for particularly for undergrad, or um, if you guys are interested, I could make a video based on um, the field of study rather than just the scholarships that are available at the moment. I could make a list of um, scholar annual scholarships that are open every year and that you could apply for so that you could gather your, your things gather your things before the scholarship is open you know in terms of documents and in terms of asking people for references so that you are able to apply on time and you are able to put your best foot forward we have the MEXT scholarships which are widely known as the MEX scholarships which are for studying in Japan now this one is my personal favorite just because I feel like they do accommodate all types of students because they uh, I will just go straight into what they cover first off they cover your tuition fees so this includes uh, your entrance fees it includes your um, your like your school fees and it, you also get a stipend so that you can live but before that they would even give you a pre-preparation stipend so while you try while you are getting ready in your own country to go to Japan you will get um, a stipend so that you are able to buy the things that you need before your departure so they pay for your accommodation once in, in student residences once you get to Japan and they also cover your uh, round airfare so they cover your tickets to and from your country and um, it will be an economy it will be you'll get a flight to eligibility this uh, MEXT scholarships are open to to students from countries that have good diplomatic relations with Japan uh, my assumption is that if you want to know if your country has good diplomatic relations with Japan, just check if there's a Japanese embassy in your country. So if there is, then you could then get more information from there. Now let's talk about the application procedure. First off, you need to go to the Japanese embassy in your own country, whether it's physically or online. If you're doing it online, then you get to the embassy website and you click on the education or scholarship tab once you get there then you could look for the MAXT application form you download that you fill it up and you submit all the required documents according to the form then the next step would be you submit your your form and your documents and the um, Japanese embassy will then take it from there and will conduct a written test, which is kind of their selection criteria. So I will not be able to tell you the exact closing dates because it varies from country to country. What I will do is I will put a link for a list of the different Japanese um, embassies or consulates for different countries just to help you guys out because I got you. <music> Then lastly, we have the Singer Award. These are the Singapore 
international graduates awards and unfortunately or fortunately rather these are open just for phd uh, study so um if you are interested in doing a, a bsc or, or a masters then this is not for you you need to already have those sort of degrees to apply for this fellowship so it is based on academic excellence for international students from all countries and you need to have a strong academic background you need to have re, um, interest in research particularly in the sciences or engineering field and uh, you need to have a good grasp of spoken or written english and you need to prepare references to um, references so before you even apply you need to get those um, references ready this award also um, provides a stipend for four years of your PhD study. It provides, um, it will cover your tuition fees and you're settling in, you'll get a settling in allowance as well as um, an airfare grant. If you're a prospective PhD student, make sure that you look at the Singer Awards. Awards, the deadline for the August 2023 intake is December 2022. I've placed all the information that I think you might need in terms of uh, official websites for these scholarships and um, if you if you feel like you have any further questions just drop them in the comment section and I will do my best to answer and if you watched till this far thank you so much for for watching for applying for scholarships this one goes without saying, but most people don't know. Uh, so my tip is that give yourself sufficient time to fill in the application properly. That's my tip. I know it seems like a no brainer, but you'd be surprised that if you give yourself enough time, you actually would maybe, you would actually stand a better chance of being selected for the scholarship as opposed to uh, submitting a rushed application form and um, what I wanted to say to you guys is that if you are interested in other types of scholarships maybe based on geographical locations for example if you wanted me to cover scholarships in just in Europe or scholarships just in America or scholarships just in Asia then uh, let me know in the comment section below and um, or if you wanted you wanted me to cover per discipline for example you wanted me to cover STEM scholarships then let me know in the comment section as well or something else that you could think of I'm I'm willing to take ideas thank you so much for watching and I wish you all the best for your own application bye mm -hmm.